Hey guys, this is Ron. Welcome to my shop. No, this is not my shop. And my wife is going to be mad. Because that's her favorite thing to ride in. So today I got a project and we'll get right to it. Alright, so this is not going to be too difficult of a project. Uh, mainly because all I really did was glue two Spanish cedar boards together just to make it thicker and I got a really really nice fit around the edges by spending the extra time doing the sanding so I found the center I cut it round on my bandsaw and I mounted a faceplate so I'm gonna go to the lathe with it and uh, shape it into a nice bowl might do some inlay I don't know we'll see but uh, let's get started on it. All right, let's put it on there. Tighten it up. We'll get ready to spin it, see how fast we can get it spinning. It should be pretty balanced. I mean, it has some flat spots, but uh, overall, I might get 600 out of it. We'll see. But I'm going to pull the tailstock up and we'll get started. Alright, so uh, let's think about what shape I want to make this. I don't want it just squared off. And I don't want it like rounded and then kind of squared. I got a lot of wood to play with. I kind of like to have it a, an angle to where it spreads out, maybe even flare a little bit at the top around the perimeter means I'm going to have one huge pile of shavings when I get done. But I'm really happy with the way the wood fit. I, I think uh, it's going to be pretty. And I tried to match both boards so you can kind of see the grain. It's kind of the, kind of the same. So I'm going to try it out. I got it sitting on 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. I think I, I'm, I'm not going to go any higher. I like 500. I can do some pretty good cutting at 500. Alright, let me get set up. Okay, so I marked out where I'm going to put the mortise for my large jaws and then I marked off the foot area of the bowl right here because I'm basically going to shave it this way and I'm going to, the bottom of the bowl is basically going to be this big around and I'm going to leave as much of the top diameter as I can so I'm going to have a nice curve here but I just want a little bulb at the bottom and then a, a straight flare to the to the outer to the top. So I'll just start eating away in this area here and when I get it lower in weight I'll, I'll do the mortise and all that but right now I want to take away as much of this wood as I can. So let's go
uh, pretty much got the uh, basic shape that I'm looking at. A little hump and then in. I got a huge amount of tear out, so I'm going to got to do a lot of scraping. And I got the tailstock pulled back. Let's go ahead and put the mortise in here. Smooth off this foot. And uh, I got a super sharp just hot off the grinder scraper. Let's see what that does to that uh, tear out. So let's give it a go. Alright, so I worked it and worked it and worked it with my scraper and I got it to where I can sand the rest of this out smooth with my power sander. So let me break that out and we'll do it. So I'm sanding. I got it to 320. There's no rough spots, but there's little tiny itty bitty holes. It looked like most of them got sawdust in them. So I'm going to put some uh, sanding sealer on it. Maybe a couple coats. That ought to solve that problem. And I'll switch it back on when I get done with that. Okay, so I got all the doors and windows open in my shop and a fan blowing. Because this is uh, pretty pretty strong stuff and typical cedar sucks it up as fast as you can put it on there even though it's Spanish cedar so it's definitely going to take more than one coat so you keep doing this and I'll get back with you. Alright, so uh, I'm looking at this Spanish cedar and it really ain't a whole lot of gnarliness to it, I guess you could say. So I am going to play with it a little bit. Put some, uh, put some inlay in it for sure. I don't know where yet I might think about it, but I gotta let it dry. So I'm gonna think about it. This is gonna take about two, three coats of sanding sealer anyway, and uh, I'll figure it out. Hey guys, all right, I got two coats on it, but while I'm waiting, uh, if y'all watched some of my other videos, you might have heard a ticking noise whenever my lathe was spinning. It was driving me crazy. I couldn't figure out what it was. I took about everything I know to take apart on it and tighten it up and so forth. And what it was, was the drive pulley coming off the motor, the set screw came loose on the little Allen key. I tightened it up, now it's noiseless. It doesn't make any noise now. Just the minor hum of the motor. So I'm pretty tickled with that. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and use a lot of your high dollar Yorkshire grit but I think it bowl deserves it <clears throat> and I got plenty left so just gotta put it on there now that sanding sealer really sucked in there it filled up a lot of them little microscopic holes, or at least they look like holes.
And I don't know how fast, I got it up to 700 earlier. So I should be able to get this Yorkshire grit to work on this larger piece, no problem. And it's actually going a long ways, so I ain't worried about it, I'm going to have plenty. Plus I think this will help fill up some of them little tiny itty bitty holes as well. At least I hope so. Alright, I got a coat on there. We started out 400. What I like about it is you can actually hear it getting smoother, or I can, probably can't on the video, but like that right there, there's hardly any resistance, and then it gets a little noise here, smooth there, a little noise here, a little noise here. Let's go up a little bit. That's 800. Looking good. Alright, good. Well, I'm going to this Dr. Wood Shop uh, Micro Crystal Wax Bowl finish. Gives it just enough shine. We're gonna doubt it 300, so I don't get splashed. Just trying to splash me. Alright, so that's uh, two coats. I'm let it dry completely and then probably hit it with one more coat. It shines pretty good and it's not super glossy like lacquer. But uh, I like it, but it has some spots that are sucking it up really 
really good right now on the end grain. So I'll let that completely dry and then I'll put another coat on it. It should smooth on up. We'll see. Okay, I loosened it up a little bit. I ain't going to show you how because y'all gripe at me. Now I'll just take this off and then we'll drill it. I'll make sure it's in the chuck better too before I start. Okay, so I got it on the chuck. I brought my tailstock up, so I'm going to loosen the chuck up, put some pressure on it to make sure it's seated really well. And then tighten it up. Do. Uh, I'm going to switch over to the Forstner bit and drill a hole, but I'll measure it and mark my bit and uh, get it drilled out. Uh, it's not going to be nothing special about this. I mean, I'm just digging out the middle. So, let's do it. Alright, so according to this, I need to bury that whole bit up in there. That'll leave me about a half inch on the bottom and that accounts for the mortise and the foot. So let's get it drilled out. It's drilled out, so let's get it set up. Get it adjusted just right, and I am going to use this because I just put a good edge on it, and I think I'm getting the hang of this turning it. A little bit at a time thing and following that bevel and I got the bevel at about 56 58 degrees somewhere around there looks pretty good I don't know if y'all can see that but it rides on the bevel pretty good so I'm gonna give it a try it's super super sharp so not to make life easy but it's gonna be noisy so let me get started
well. I hadn't even got started good hollowing it out. My wife already come out here and said, that's my bull. I ain't, you ain't selling that one. So I guess I better not screw it up. But this thing is cutting pretty good. I like it. It's kind of hard to find a bevel every now and then. But um, when you find it and you don't try to go too dig too much, it just glides right through it. So I'm happy with it. Well, I'm still whittling away at it. Uh, this is going to be a while. Alright, so I finished uh, digging it out. And I got it about this thick. All this widens up a little bit here and it shrinks back in. The bottom's probably a half inch, which is good for me. And I've got it sanded to 320. So it's time to start putting sanding sealer on it. And it sucked it up. Alright, let that dry. Okay, so sanding sealer's dry. It's been Yorkshire gridded. It's got a coat. Of shine juice on it and I'm letting it dry because it sucked it all up again so I'll let it dry completely maybe I can get this thing a little bit shinier so far I'm not having much luck maybe one of y'all could suggest a better finish but I mean it's okay I just like them shinier, but I'll work on it, see what happens. Alright, well I finished it, and it's lightweight, cedar doesn't weigh much. Uh, I am going to put my uh, signature on the bottom and uh, put another coat of wax on it or something, but looks nice. I like it. I think uh, someone's going to be happy. My wife. So, y'all have a good day and thank you for visiting my shop and like and subscribe. I'm always up to something. Mostly getting in trouble, but I'm always up to something. Have a good day.